Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Blast Corpse! Last time we did two levels that look kinda similar. Today we shall venture into Ember Hamlet. Well, this is gonna be all kinds of fun, isn't it? It goes straight through a town. And we get to start off as the bike, and we... I didn't see much ammunition lying around. I wonder what that's all about. Well, the key to this level is grabbing the ammunition, blowing up this house, switching to a better vehicle. Really, that's... all you need to know. And suddenly, no problems were had anymore. Also, you only need to destroy part, parts of this house. This, these houses. This, this. Um, yes. Sims, well. What was that? Oh. Okay. Um. Yes, you only need to destroy parts of the houses since the truck isn't all that big. Also, I'm gonna leave this level instantly instead of waiting for a truck because with someone uh, like the athletic robot, I'm rather likely to run into the truck myself and blow it up. We don't need that to happen. Ooh, another promotion. Commanding Desolator. Well, Go for it. just had to destroy this house. Aha. So, what else is there? There is. Was a thing. Okay. I like how it can just walk into things and they. Die, basically. Oh well. Come on. We. Yeah. Hmm. We are nearing the end of the game and the end of the let's play. Although, I may consider doing a bonus episode sometime in the future. After I've played this game some more. What do you mean? Well, I'll explain about that when we get there. Haha, all the fences must die. Yeah, this level nothing too special. Just a little village somewhere in the thing. I don't think there's there are bonus exits. I didn't quite check. Yay, all survivors free. And all buildings destroyed. Did you know? Are there still fences around though? Well, one thing's for certain, there's still RDUs. And another level in five minutes. Um, there's something. Ah, and it was worth a hundred dollars. Oh well. One doesn't really need to bother with every little silly bit picking thing. Hmm. Well, the only levels left for us are Oyster Harbor and Diamond Sands. Of course I'm gonna leave Diamond Sands for last. And today... Sure, let's go into Oyster Harbor. This one... Uh, it, 
it's hard, all right. <coughs> second. Ah, give me a second, please. Mr. Harbour, the thing with this level is you're on a rather strict time limit during which I may stop talking at some point due to concentration. So, yeah. The trickiest part about this is something you didn't quite see there. Only a red glimpse at the edge of the screen. The final thing in the truck's way in this level is, well, uh, an indestructible building. And you are gonna need a TNT crate. It's just, there aren't really a whole lot around. So, yeah. There's the truck. How it did get there, I don't know. Let's just assume it can walk on water. And we get to play as a bike, which... Um, just destroy a few of the boxes. Your real target is that red box that's blocking your access to the snowplow. Yeah, I'm gonna restart that, because I'm taking way too long. Yes, this was already too long and... A mark of failure. Oh, that was much better. So get out of the bike as soon as you can. Don't bother with the other boxes. You need to get better vehicle for destroying them first. And into the snowplow we go. And just falls down everything. Yay! Well, not everything, just only that which is in the truck's way. So, quickly get out and get the crane in position. Get up, move forward and drop it somewhere here. No, don't move, get out! <sighs> oh well, I'm still doing fine, I think. Get one of the TNT boxes over there. And quickly back in the train because they don't last too long. Crane up. Careful that you don't hit the edge of the thing. Plonk it down in the middle. Move the train out of the way and get out. We are on a time limit and it's a rather strict one. It's true, the boxes, you can take them later. If you were quick enough, you can take this way. Otherwise, the truck will head this way already and you'll have to go the long way around. Which won't end very nice for anyone. Push that in there. Do not push that in there, rather push it over here. Because we need these two. And since I do not want to make a return trip, we are going to push both at once. Fortunately, they clip into each other, so that makes this a lot easier. Until that happens, oh well. As of yet, nothing to worry about, I don't think. So, you need to go. Oh, come on, get in the hole already. Okay, two things left. Ram down one of these things. I think I need to get rid of more house. <clears throat> this should also damage this one a little bit. Oh yeah, few tanks. They're kind of awesome like that. Since we are here, we might as well we'll use this slope to burn down the factory quickly. And last rock into place. So, for the next part, this boat... Let me check the map. This boat is conveniently already in place. Well... 
You need to fill two gaps, and there's the indestructible building that we need a TNT box for. No. So plong your snow plong on that boat. Quickly go over to this one. Yes, we are filling the father gap first. Next, run alongside here. There's a little bridge that you can use to get back to the second boat. And fill in the thing. Don't even bother turning around. We need to borrow this boat, and that's why you're on such a strict time limit. Yeah, we are over there, and the missile missile dude is coming our way. And over here, on this far out island at the edge of nowhere, <clears throat> is the TNT box we need to clear the path. Stop complaining. We are very good on time. Yeah. No worries there. No worries at all. Just make sure the truck can't get stuck on the railings. Come on, don't get caught up on the edge. Or in the boat, for that matter, that would be terrible. And... No, 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 yes, yes, yes! Nice work. And quickly leave the level before it can accidentally run a railing. That would be devastating. Literally. Also, this level has a bonus exit. Great. So, as for revisiting this thing, first things first, let's get rid of the boat. If I can't manage it in 80 shots or so, I will restart until I do. I just have no idea how to hit this thing properly. Not even sure if I'm hitting it at all. I just hope it goes down eventually. You're not a great help. I heard something crumble. Yeah, that went not in the water at all. What are you talking about? Why do you? Curve to the left, just because there's latch. Are you afraid of latch? Oh yeah, nice. For my next trick, we will actually cycle around the path that you're quote unquote supposed to take around the lake thing. Because there is two how there are two houses right here that we kind of need to destroy with a bike. Since Snowplow can't get up there. That's also where the one and only secret exit for this level is. Oh, I think I just remembered what the mini game is as well. Go, go. Shut up! Get out! Well, we will do the rest of the level as the snowplow. Pretty much. Yeah. So anything here, a box and TNT boxes, but well. Yeah, don't ask me where that car came from. Let's just say it spawned in at the edge of the world. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Oh well. <clears throat> what else is there to find here? 
well, there's bonus level. Let's get that real quick. This bonus level is gonna be a pain, and I'm not gonna be very happy about it. Oh, well, got to do what you got to need to do. So, we also need to, well, we need to get the bolts into place in order to get to the end, anyway. Yeah, we need to get the bolts into place. It's a common thing, apparently. Maybe. By the way, did I miss an RDU or something? Give me my stats faster! Faster! Hmm. Three RDUs in the middle of nowhere. Also, I don't have special abilities, but I can stop in my tracks with a set button. Oh well. Let me just check out right up here for our news. No, nothing. Well, great. Better than his three RDUs. You know what, I'm gonna have to take a quick look around this place. Hmm. I don't think I missed him over there. Maybe somewhere around Heather. No? No, not really. <clears throat> hmm. Well, can't quite help it if I want to 100% this level. Oh. Makes sense that I missed those. Oh well, at least we don't have to do any more block pushing puzzles in this level anyway. So, where we want to go? We want to get that TNT crate again. Why, you may ask? Well, if you hadn't noticed, we haven't destroyed all buildings yet. And we were also warned that there may or may not be a scientist. One of the six only scientists of this world. They are a real rarity around here. By the way, there's nothing else on that little island. So let's just ignore it. Man, after a lot of short episodes, you're suddenly getting a really long one. Oh well. So, push the crate over there. I think we can actually do it from here. Yes, looks good. And that's the final building. But wait, there's more. With that thing out of the way, which is absolutely necessary to complete the level, we can finally go over here. Spoilers, there's the scientist. And... Yes! Only one more left. Extra supper stop at Archant Towers. I'll keep it in mind. But first, we are gonna complete all of the levels. Yes, yeah, sounds like the perfect excuse. Why were you hiding all the way out there anyway? Seems rather unreasonable. It's not like the explosion wouldn't have caught you there. Hmm. Oh well. Moving. 
so I guess next time we will first do Givenskei, which surprisingly enough is a backlash level, bonus level. And if, well great, there's only backlash left for us, is there? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, if I don't go crazy doing this level, I may go directly into Diamond Sands. I don't think we will go into Arch and Towers to rescue the scientists just yet. Hmm. Man, I can't believe we are basically already almost through this game. Oh well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Blast Corps next time Gibbon's Gate. Yes, this is Legion and fairly well.